Hey there YouTube, this is Refresh on 009 and I'm back again with another video. So um, a couple of days ago on Saturday I went to the swap meet. Um, it was kind of a rare occasion because usually I don't go there twice a month, it's usually once a month. But uh, last Saturday I made an exception of going because there was a, um, a certain game that I was kind of um, really like kind of wanted to play and um, I tried my luck in the swap meet just to check it out to see if they have it. And, um, uh, lo and behold, I was able to find the game. It's an original Xbox game, and it is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the first one. Um, I played the second one, I beat it, and I really wanted to play the first one. I just never got the chance to actually find it and pick it up. But um, I got this game just, uh, just to finish up this series. I know there's the third one that's coming out, but um, I haven't really played the first one, so... Um, at the price, it was originally five dollars, but I asked her for three because um, it didn't come with a manual and um, just the game instead. But I didn't really mind. Uh, usually, um, some vendors don't really go down prices if it's at least five dollars because when it's five dollars, um, that's like their set price as being like the lowest that they could go. But um, I kind of tried my luck asking for three dollars, so she she agreed. So I got this game. Uh, can't wait to play it. Um, also from a different vendor, there's this vendor that I am now um, going every time I go through the go to the swap meet. That's gonna be like the first place I go to. There's this vendor that has a lot of really really good games that are semi cheap and kind of reasonable. Um, those two um, boxed uh, long box PlayStation One games, I got that from that vendor. Plus um, Command and Conquer Retaliation, I got those three games from that vendor for fairly cheap. And um, I came back there to see what he um, has new in stock, and it was a good thing that I actually um, went. Um, this time he was selling um, sealed video games for the Xbox, uh, I think 360 and Dreamcast. So um, I was able to um, look around his selection, and I was able to pick up three games from him. So um, the first game is a um, Sega Dreamcast, and. Um, it's kind of rare now for me to actually find any Sega Dreamcast games because usually it's in bad condition. I see a lot of Crazy Taxis and Virtua Tennis. I could pick those games up, but the condition that they were in, I kind of passed. But this game was sealed, so I got Sonic Adventures. It's sealed with the cellophane wrap. Um, I never played the Dreamcast version of this game, so I can't wait to play this game. Um, I have no intentions of keeping this game sealed because every time I see a sealed game, I always have to open it and play it. So, got this game. Alright, on to these two last games. They're Xbox titles and they're kind of hard to find. Well, one of the games is hard to find for me, but um, the game is Fatal Frame. Uh, the first one, I actually played the second one, not the second one, the first one on the PlayStation 2. Um, I rented it in, in Hollywood videos and um, this game terrified me when I was very young. Um, I actually beat this game, well actually me and my sister actually beat this game. Um, she did, she helped me out with the puzzles and she did most of it. I was the one that was just finding items and um, and um, battling the ghosts. So we like had like had a job between, uh, between this game. So it was really fun but scary at the same time. So um, I can't wait to play this game because this game is really hard to find. Um, going into like my um, going into like my local gaming store because they charge like they charge these games really high. So in the swap meet, I'm kind of glad that I got this uh, for the price that it is. Uh, next game is uh, Silent Hill 2 for the Xbox. Um, I have never played a um, Silent Hill game before. Uh, I never actually had any interest. Well, not really any interest. It's just that I kind of passed by it. But um, it's still good to play games when you haven't played, and uh, this game looks really interesting. I, I've heard and um, watched a gameplay on YouTube of on um, Silent Hill, and I know there's like a new um, Silent Hill game that's coming out uh, pretty soon. I think next year. So I um, uh, can't wait to play this game. This also sealed. Uh, same thing with this one. But as I said before, I have no intentions of actually. Um, keeping these sealed and reselling them so I'm gonna open these up um, pretty soon alright so on to the prices uh, this this game was ten dollars I wanted five but I think that's kind of pushing my luck because um, he will go with ten so I have to buy this 
and um, Silent Hill 2 and Fatal Frame. Uh, this game is $15. And, oops, Silent Hill 2 is $15, I'm sorry. And Fatal Frame is $15 also. So uh, I got this. I didn't get this for $40, surprisingly. Um, since I bundled these in together, I asked him how much would you want um, as a bundle. Uh, he took out $5 off these two games, so these were actually $10. So I spent uh, $30 total for uh, these three games. So overall, I'm, I'm really um, satisfied with the purchases that I got for these three games right here. Uh, meaning that they're sealed, but I'm going to open them up pretty soon. Alright, so um, last pickup, it's really big. I kind of got in it because... The reason why I got it is because it's kind of hard to find in my... Um, in my um, uh, swap meet flea market whatsoever and I just had to snack this uh, thing up. It's a console and it is uh, the Sega Saturn. Uh, got this for $13 surprisingly. Uh, the vendor wanted 20 for it but I'll show you why. I came with the the controller right here and one power cable. Uh, it didn't come with the AV cables so I asked her can I take at least like ten ten dollars for it? She didn't really want to, um, like give this away for ten dollars. So she said thirteen. So I just I said I'll take I'll take it for thirteen. So um, I'm kind of glad that I got this system. It's another addition into my um collection. Um, what I know about this console is it was released back in the '90s, and there really wasn't many games that are that are released in the United States and. Um, there's a lot of import games in Japan, mostly um, some shoot 'em up games, but um, the games that are released in America is really few, and there could be quite pricey at times. But um, if I if I if I were to find uh, these type like various games for this, I'll try to be as thrifty as I can. But I can't really um, play it if I find the um, AV cables for it. So. That's going to be probably, I might search for one um, next month when I do my um, flea market ritual every once a month. So yeah, um, I got a Sega Saturn to add to my collection. really excited to um, collect for that game uh, console. So uh, this is Refresh and I um, hope you guys like watching my video. Um, next month I'll do another pickup video and I might show some footage maybe if I if I'm not that scared <laughs> because it's kind of hard um, like putting a camera in front of in front of uh, people I don't know I just get I just get kind of like um, nervous every time I pull up a camera in the public because I actually tried doing it um, last Saturday get my camera out and um, uh, videotape me make my purchases like I did before with the help of my friend of that last of this video I made a long time ago searching for a Dreamcast I wanted to redo that again but I I really um, get kind of nervous doing it in the public places but eventually I might actually do that it could be could be for a while but I don't know so um, anyways this is Refresh and I hope you guys like watching my video and I'll see you guys later